Hello, my beautiful friends. Today I have something really exciting for you where I'm giving you a sneak peek from a lesson course on DBO Academy called Intro to Technique. And holy crap, I am so excited to finally tell you that doors to DBO Academy are open right now. DBO Academy is the ultimate online drum school that helps you improve your skill, confidence, and creativity so that you can reach your full potential on the drum set. And the way we do this is through our four pillars of learning. One, being our highly entertaining and educational courses. Two, being through our tools that allow you to track your progress each step of the way. Three, by utilizing our positive and encouraging community who's there to support you every step of the way throughout your drumming journey. And four, through our drumming path that guides you step by step through each lesson. Whether you are just picking up sticks or you've been playing drums for decades, there are multiple courses for you to help you improve your skill on the drum kit. And whether you're just trying to improve your hobby or take your drum journey to the next level by making your own YouTube videos or playing gigs live, DBO Academy is the perfect place for you to take those next steps. Also, everyone who joins before September 1st, so today will get the chance to win a seven piece Pearl Decade Maple drum kit. Enrollment closes on September 4th, so join me inside DBO Academy by clicking here or in the link in the description below. But with that said, let's hop into today's lesson. All right, so now let's talk about your foot technique, specifically your foot technique for your bass drum pedal or for your bass drum in general. Because there's surprisingly a lot of things to think about and a lot of things you wanna make sure that you're doing right when it comes to using your bass drum pedal. You definitely don't want to bring your foot back behind your knee. You want it just a little bit in front of your knee. So you can either move your seat farther away from the bass drum if that's helpful or you can move your bass drum forward just a little bit. Now that brings up something else that comes up a lot and that is Gabe, do you bury the beater or do you let it come off the head? Now, burying the beater is a term for when you hit the bass drum, you put all your weight down and the beater sticks against the kick drum head. So the only time the beater is actually leaving the kick drum head is when you go to hit the next note. The other option is when you hit the bass drum, you take some of the weight off of your foot afterwards so the beater comes off the head and it's not stuck against the bass drum head the entire time. So when you bury the beater, sometimes this can be a little bit more natural. I think for me, it is more natural. And what you get with that is you get a shorter sound. It kind of chokes the bass drum a little bit, but I would generally say that you get more attack from it. You get a louder and punchier sound from burying the beater. Now letting the beater come off the head generally gives your bass drum a little bit more life, a little bit more resonance because you're not choking out the sound. So my recommendation is to be able to work on both of these things. I don't wanna overwhelm you. It's not imperative that you know this right now, but in the future, it's good to be able to use both tools. So for example, when I'm playing with I Prevail, I'm generally burying the beater because that's heavy music, that's hard rock, where I just want loud, punchy, quick notes. And for me, that's the easiest thing to do to keep my weight down on the beater. But if I'm playing some slower music and I want to really focus on the tones of my drum, I work on letting the beater come off the head. And I don't just slap the beater and like take my foot off so that the beater goes back and forth like crazy like this. I don't want that. So it's more controlled than that. If I'm letting it come off, I push it against the head and let it come off and I still have some weight on the pedal to control it from not rebounding back like crazy. And the final thing I wanna to talk to you about today is what's called the slide technique. A lot of people have a hard time doing double notes on their bass drum. And that's because a lot of people are hitting their bass drum where they just lift their entire foot 
and try to get those two notes. And that takes a lot of effort and a lot of energy, especially in the middle of a drum beat or a fill. So this is where the slide technique comes in. This is how you can get two quick notes really, really efficiently. So basically the way that you are going to perform the slide technique is you aren't going to change much about that molar technique for your foot. As you raise your heel up, what you're actually going to do is sneak in a note. So that's the extra note. When you raise your heel up that first time, you press down with your toe, and then when you bring the rest of your foot down, you are naturally hitting another note. And a really easy way to do this is for that first note to be a little bit higher on the pedal than normal, and then you almost slide across the pedal just like this. So I would hit that first note here, and then slide diagonally to right here to hit that second note. So you're going boom, 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 boom. So your toes are actually kind of sticking on to the pedal. If anything, they're coming off just ever so slightly. And this will help you get those two notes in a row. So again, this is going to feel unnatural. This is going to feel uncomfortable, but I want you to spend some time working on it. Just slowly, just trying to get those two notes. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. It doesn't have to be super fast. Just really try to get the motion down. And as it starts to get comfortable, then you start to speed it up. So now let's talk about your homework and how we are going to apply these exercises. What I want you to do is start to, again, just work on these techniques in general, right? There doesn't need to be specific exercises for that. But what can help you is to work on the push pull between your hands and your feet. I wanna get those two things talking to each other just a little bit more. So the exercise I want you to do is just by doing a push pull with one hand. So let's say right, right with one hand and then a slide technique with your foot. So right, right, kick, kick, and then you switch. Left, left, kick, kick. So your kick isn't gonna change, but your hands are. And the idea here is to kind of work on this push pull, both between your hands and your feet, but technically your foot is doing the slide technique. Push pull on the hands, slide technique on the feet. And again, we're gonna go really slow here, so let me show you what I mean. So there is just a sneak peek of what you can expect inside DBO Academy. But like I said, each course inside DBO Academy is designed to help you take action, which is a lot different than the YouTube videos because once you join, you get your own custom drumming path that builds on each lesson before it. So you're never left guessing what you should be working on or what you should be practicing so that you just make steady progress each and every day. So I'd highly encourage you to join me inside DBO Academy to start seeing some serious results on the drum kit and you might just win a drum set of your own. Click right here or in the link in the description below to get instant access to DBO Academy. Stay true and I will see you there. Bye guys.